So the next thing I need to do is get the second door installed, the frame installed so it's all ready. So I can start puttying all the joints. And once that's done, I guess I'll have to work on my cornices, put all the cornices in. And once all of the putty has been sanded down and nice and smooth, I guess I have to do the undercoat so that um, all the electrical work can uh, commence to finish it off, all the power points, the lights and all of that. And um, yeah, and air conditioning as well. So um, the air conditioning would be put in. Yeah, and then finally the second door installed. <laughs> go what can I say I'm becoming a um, you know expert in this wow pretty good I just have to nail it in plaster and at the same time put the uh, the paper there the paper roll to um, I guess make a really nice um, strong joint there um, I've been using premix uh, plaster and I got recommended to use the premix one um, by, um, by a retired builder he said well if you're not sure what you're doing you're better off with the premix one at least you get that out of the equation because you get it uh, wrong um, you know it won't be strong enough or it'll be too too light or too strong or, or dry too quickly and all of those things that um, at least that bit is out you can concentrate on uh, slapping them onto the wall so that's what I've been using and I think uh, it works quite well because um, I don't have to worry about the mixing, I just grab as much as I think I need and just sort of go through and then fill up the, um, the gaps there. And that's the first layer, so once it dries off I'll be sending it down and putting another layer and then waiting for it to dry and then and hopefully the last third layer will be the final one we just touch up basically. The one thing that I'm really worried about is doing the roof. This was just a test wall um, that I wanted to try out. But doing the ceiling with upside down, oh fucking hell, that's going to kill me. As if it hasn't killed me already putting the jib rocks up there. Oh. Well, it's got to be done, I guess. Anyway. I'll keep going. Throughout the weeknights I have been working here uh, with uh, plastering all the joints and um, I pretty much got around to doing maybe about one wall a night 
So most of the walls um, are now, first layer of plaster has been done with the tape um, in between them. As you can see, um, it's pretty much done now. And um, it is a Saturday, so I'm working during the day. And I've got the last patch to do um, on the roof, last joint. And uh, that'll be the first layer of the plaster. And then I need to send it all down and then do another layer of plastering and sending it down as the final um, third layer. So yeah, it's getting along well. Um, I've also done uh, the, the, the corners. I gave it a try. So um, didn't turn out that bad. I got myself this tool where it allows you to um, put the putty in and then just sort of run it through the, uh, the corners um, and you get a nice smooth um, sort of um, edges. I'll show you. So as you can see there, that's my uh, first attempt. You basically use this, you put some uh, putty on each side and then you basically run this all the way down and, um, and that makes it work. So you got nice smooth edges. This is only the uh, second layer. So it needs to be, once it dries, it needs to be sanded down. And then uh, another layer and the final sanding down. And it'll be done. So I have uh, one and two layers, uh, well, two corners left. Um, I'm still deciding whether I really need to do the same at the top corners there because the cornice is going to go in there. Uh, alongside so I'm not sure if I need the filling there but because it's already sealed behind it with a silicon whether I need it or not but I'll decide on that I'll let you know Now, while I wait for some of the putty to dry, I thought I'll show you something. This is a box of screws for the plasterboard that I've been using. So, um, it's about 50 um, millimeters long so that it can actually go through both plasterboards and into the studs. And that's what I've been using. And I bought a box of 1000 and this is how much left I suspect maybe about 20 or thereabouts left so that's how many screws I needed to actually screw but um, plaster boards for both layers so that's a lot of screws if you're planning it make sure uh, you get enough uh, screws. When I calculated how many I would need, I thought you know I might need about uh, 600 or 700. But uh, I go well, the only available in either 200 or the next one was 1,000. 
and I thought I might as well get 1,000. I said if I get any extra, you know, um, then I can still use it. It's just the screws. But yeah, it looks like there's only um, 20 left and out of the 1,000. There you go. That's a lot of screws. I think next I might work on uh, that corner as well, just uh, because there's not much things to move from there. So I'll uh, do that corner, finish the third corner, and there'll be only one corner uh, left to do. Well, I'm hoping that by end of today I'll have all the plaster finished and all the dry ones from uh, during the week. I'll be able to start sending them down, getting things ready, and, and I'll probably do an undercoat if I get get the time tomorrow so that during next week and by next Saturday there'll be electrical work all done and finished as well as the air conditioning so air conditioning is definitely coming in next by at least next Saturday if not earlier uh, to be put in so but I gotta finish um, all the plastering sanding and uh, undercoat um, before that and then cleaning up boy that's a lot of dust uh. Well, a lot of screw holes to fill. Anyway, gotta get to work. By the way, uh, a, a quick warning. I'm not a plasterer. So uh, when you're watching this video, if you don't know how to plaster, this is not a video to watch because you're not gonna learn anything from me because uh, I don't think I'm doing it. Uh, I'm doing it right, uh, but whether I'm doing it the right way, the correct way and so on. So just so that you know, um, I'm not trying to teach you how to plaster because I'm the wrong person to teach because I'm learning as I'm going as well along as well you know I'm just putting it out there so no one says oh, I watched it from you and uh, you were doing it all wrong and uh, this is not the right way to do it I don't know what the right way to do it is I'm just trying to do it so please if, if you think I'm doing it wrong uh, you can tell me what the right way is but don't say that um, you know no nasty comments because I'm just trying to uh, finish this job off because I really want to move in here and start making music. Anyway. corner done you know not sure if it was the uh, the right way or the easy way I should say but um, it's a good exercise going up and down and up and down the steps it's like doing a gym exercise you know it's going up the, the steps and down so I guess I'm doing two things at once where you go well it looks like I've decided to do the corners as well so um, I'm gonna do the corners of um, between the ceiling and the wall with the uh, plaster as well might as well you know just uh, cover everything the only thing is um, I need more plaster uh, that thing there yeah well you know um, that's uh, only one done so I'll still have another three to go so I need plaster as well as paper tape. I don't think that's going to be enough for the lot. Oh, well, it's better for the longer run. <laughs> 